Steven had been feeling a bit down for a few days. The engines weren't sure why, but they tried to make him feel better. You don't look very good, Steven. What's the matter? Nothing really, old chap. I'm just old, if you get my meaning. Okay, if you say so. Anyway, I bet to take the empties up to Penston. Isn't Richard taking that? Actually, no. Not today, at least. William has been delayed and Richard had to cover for him. No, I have to cover for Richard in my spare time. Oh, I see. Anyway, see you later, old chap. See you later, Stephen. Edwin puffed away, feeling worried for his friend. He didn't believe what Stephen told him at all. He didn't think that Stephen was down because he was old. After all, he was only 45 years old. Soon, Edwin arrived at the yard with the empty trucks. When he got there, Oliver the borrowed class 37 was already waiting for him with loaded trucks. Hello Oliver, how are you? Ah, oh, doing alright Edwin. Good here. And you? Oh, okay I suppose. Did you find out what's going on in Steven's smoke box? Well, all he said was that he's old. Well, maybe he's having some sort of locomotive midlife crisis. It's something else. I mean, he's not that old. He's only five years older than me. And Timothy isn't far behind. I see. Anyway, where am I taking these then? Well, you'll be taking them as far as Woodhead. Richard should be able to pick them up from there. Okay, mate. Thanks. I'll see you later. Edwin soon got on his way to Woodhead. As he was puffing down the line, he couldn't stop thinking about Stephen. Maybe, he thought, it was just the fact that he was old. Not so long after that, Edwin reached Woodhead Station. There, he left the trucks in the platform and ran to a siding to let Richard couple up. Soon, he saw Richard backing up onto the train. Hello, Ricky. Hello, Ed. How are you, mate? Well, I'm better now that I know I won't be late. Well, that's good. Uh, did Daniel tell you what this Class 47 said to Stephen about a week ago? No. Well, he, he told him that he was lucky to escape because apparently none of his brothers did. That's odd. A Class 47 told me the exactly the same thing the day I was brought back from the dead. Oh, uh, did he now? He said that he thought all of us black fives were scrapped decades ago, and that he would make sure that I will be as well. Was his number 47289 by any chance? Yes, I think that was it. How did you know? It was the very same diesel that was bullying you Stephen then. Is that so? Definitely. What was the diesel doing here anyway? One of Stephen's freight trains is usually taken on by a BR diesel. Now why do you know it was that one? I'll have to teach that engine to show some respect. Edwin. No, Richard. I have to do this. I'll switch jobs with Stevens tomorrow. Okay, if you say so. That evening, Edwin and Steven were alone at the sheds. Hey Steven. I know what that diesel said to you. Do you really? Yes, I do. Okay, that's good to hear. Can I switch jobs with you tomorrow? Sure, but why? I want to make that diesel show some respect. After all, he bullied me as well on the same day Dan and Mr. Salmon collected me from that siding. Oh? Yes, although at that moment, I couldn't do anything. I mean, I was scrap. The engines chuckled and talked long into the night. The next morning, Edwin took Stephen's morning freight from Sheffield. He thought to himself, what would he say if he met the diesel? He arrived early at Manchester. He looked around the station, and there he was, 47289. Hey, you. Remember me? Uh, no, no, no. I don't. You'll soon see to it that I'm scrapped? 
Does that ring a two-tone horn? No, it can't be you. Oh yes, it is. I heard you've been bullying a friend of mine. And guess what? I won't let that happen. He may be old, but he's wise. He can bring a train to the station even on one cylinder. He's like fire and ice. He may be old, but he's one of the best there is. 47289 was speechless. He never considered that steam engines could still be useful. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Well then, that's settled. Daniel then moved the goods train away from Edwin and put it behind the diesel. Later on, the diesel pulled away, with a lot to think about. That evening, Mr. Salmon came to the sheds to talk to Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Now, you must be wondering what am I doing here. Well, Richard told me that you thought that you were alone. Well, it's not true, not at all. You are not the last of your kind. Do you know your older brother, Green Arrow? Well, he survived and you'll be visiting him at the National Railway Museum in York for a short while. You're to leave tomorrow, so pack your bags, if you know what I mean. Really? Yes, really. Now, good night, my engines. And with that, Mr. Salmon walked away.